Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. This video that you're about to watch is the weekend hunts for opening muzzleloader um, here in North Carolina. We saw a bunch of deer. I actually shot an eight point on Sunday morning. What the deer we were after, um, was still happy about it. We fed a family from our church, so it all worked out great. I still made it to church on time. Anyway, guys, we hope you like enjoyed the video. Hey, tell your friends we need some subs. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Got my main man Dawson with me today. He's up to bat. It's the evening hunt of the first day of muzzleloader opener here in North Carolina. We're headed in to uh, our box, one of our box blinds. We've got uh, a couple of good bucks on this farm. Hopefully one of them will make an appearance tonight. Anyway guys, stay tuned, wish us luck. We'll see you in the box. See ya. <laughs> I had... I Hey guys, we're all settled in in the box. Come on, oops, come on, man, man, Dawson. What's up? What's up, anyway? We're sitting over, it used to be a food plot. We've been lazy and low on funds the last couple of years. It's just a little grassy field we created in a cutter. It's actually our favorite spot. We call it plot one and box one. That's where Dawson killed his first deer ever. And he's killed uh, a pretty nice seven point out of here. Get another seven point last year. Anyway, guys, we just luck. This place has been good to us. We got another giant seven pointer that's been frequent in this plot. Hopefully, he'll show tonight. Uh, and if Dawson can make this shot, because he gets buck fever, um, he'll go for a ride in the back of the truck. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, stay with us.
guys, good morning. Doing a little um, pre-hunt interview. I'm doing it a little late because it's actually a post interview. I snuck back down here to the box this morning. It's Sunday morning, October 29th, and it's 7.50. I'm probably going to have maybe just enough time to get to church. We'll see. Um, I've been sitting in the box. Uh, not really thinking about hunting because I got a lot of other stuff on my mind and um, I hadn't done a pre-hunt interview because it hadn't been daylight long it's, it's overcast and I looked up and a buck stepped out into the uh, food plot and I got a little excited and they look a little big to me in my binoculars and uh, it gave me a great broadside shot and I shot the, shot the buck it ran off I gotta go see if I can find it um, but now looking back at the little bit of footage I have of him, he's not the deer I wanted and he's awful small, but whatever. I'm still happy with him. He got my adrenaline up. I'm going to put my tag on him and be proud of him. He sure is going to taste good. Anyway, guys, we'll see you on the track job. Hopefully we can find him. Stay tuned. Seen him blowing, but I watched him run, run in the woods. So I'm just gonna go to that point and see if I can find him. Yeah, I see him right there. He's right there in the edge of the woods. I see him already. Hey guys, here's my buck, number four for the year. I've only got two tags left. Learn some things on this hunt. Number one, always shoot a pre-hunt interview. Number two, always try to get you some B-roll as quick as possible. Number three, um, is shoot some pre-roll and judge your bucks better. I'm still happy with this buck. Even though he's not the buck I was after, he's gonna feed a family from our church, so Either way, everybody's blessed. Hope you enjoyed the short video. Um, like, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, comment below, and remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Hey guys, back at it again. Got double D. We're back in plot one again for the fourth time this weekend. Opening weekend of muzzleloader in North Carolina. Um, I saw one cow horn the first day. We saw 11, 10 or 11 deer last night with a little small four point. And this morning I shot a small eight point that I mistook for a Bigger deer, but oh well. We fed a we fed a family from church. I got the bunch of tags, so it all worked out. Anyway, guys, we hope the big seven walks out tonight for Dawson. Yes. If he's asleep, I'll probably shoot it. Anyway, guys, stay with us. Wish us luck. And thanks for watching.
for the muzzleloader in uh, North Carolina for our opener. Uh, real windy today, all we saw so far is one little doe. I did shoot an eight point this morning. You've already saw that by now if you've watched the video all the way through. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video of our weekend. Give us a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. Thanks for watching. You got anything? He's useless.